Our focus now turns to Central Arkansas track and field, and we're joined by Coach Boterio, Max Norez, who is about to travel across the sea back to Germany, and Asia Kreiner, who is an Arkansas native, but hanging out in Conway right now. Welcome. Hello. Good to be here. Coach, you're in, in one of those spring sports that was affected directly, and it was that transition time. Um, how did you find out? When did you sort of realize that this season's over? Yeah, it, uh, I mean, we just finished our indoor season. We were getting ready for, for our first meet for outdoor season and, and getting ready to host our, actually our home relay meet. Um, you know, and, and it was the day before we, we kind of got the call that, hey, we got to stop competition. Um, you know, but then practices were still going on. Campus was still kind of rolling and everything. And that, that just kind of progressed over time. And, um, you know, and then I'm at practice one day and I just get a call from, from our, 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 our department saying that, hey, we got to, that's it, it's done. NCAA says you, you're done practicing for the year. Um, you know, and, and so we, we slowly send our kids home that would, if it was safe for them to go home. And, um, you know, it was kind of a shocking blow, but I think we, we handled it quite well as a staff. And I think our athletes, uh, you know, mentally, physically uh, handled everything really well uh, with this transition to, to going home, going to online campuses and everything. So, so we're doing all right right now, but it was, it was definitely a shock. But so, Max, you delayed your travel back home. What's your plan now? Yeah, I'm traveling home on Monday to Germany because in first place, it was not that safe to travel home. So I decided with coach and with the doctors here on campus uh, that we should travel later in the year. Also because of the better possibilities that we can do because I could still run here what I shouldn't have done at home because at home I wouldn't have I would have been in quarantine two weeks and then I would have stayed here and maybe couldn't have run but yeah so I think it was a good decision to stay here on campus and uh, just keep the process going and is your town in your town in Germany is it is it fairly open getting there where are we so next week we are opening again our chancellor announced yesterday something about that we opening next week, but it's about the state. So the state government can decide um, when we opening again individually, because it depends on the some of people who have corona, and so they decide individually. We are under a thousand corona cases right now in Germany and whole Germany. So mm -hmm. we healed over one hundred fifty thousand cases in Germany, which is very very impressive. And they're still going to welcome you back in, even though they've had such a low number. I mean that's. Got to be scary. I mean, even though you're a native, I mean, that's, you know, bringing in people from any country, especially a place like the United States that's had so many cases. Yeah. I mean, I didn't realize it until we talked to our athletic advisor about it. And he said, it's impressive what Germany is doing right now. Like, we have every week this meeting where we have on Zoom as well. And talked to him and we were like, yeah, we had like 180,000 cases, but we healed like mo like 90% of it. It was impressive. I was like, wow, it's crazy. I didn't realize yeah. that. You must have a lot of uh, healthy people over there, I guess, that actually oh, caught it. So well, it's it's good good to hear that it's not been impacted as as badly as some other places. Asia, what's what are you what have you been doing since you found out about everything being closed down? Uh, I've been house gaming. You know, <laughs> I like the game. Uh, that's pretty much it. I'll go work out occasionally and make sure I'm just not sitting around. But you know, you can't really go out and hang out with your friends like you usually would or anything else so just keep yeah, myself I, safe yeah and I was just say I assume there's training and then there's like you know like training training for competition I mean you know maybe just trying to stay in shape is not the same as I assume as like preparing for competing oh no not at all not so at what, all. what like what's a tip yeah what's an off-season like a typical workout just to kind of stay in shape for you uh off-season workouts or well Right now, given the time, they're usually not as hard. Once we get closer to school starting, so maybe around August, September, it starts getting really, really hard. So I'm yeah. pretty much dying those days, dying on the track. But, gotcha. <laughs> but how, right how are now, things? Staying active. How are things back home in Hope? Uh, I actually moved from Hope about a year or two ago. I moved to Jacksonville. Okay. 
yeah, but everything is everything is good. My family's doing good, so thank God everything's okay. You haven't had anybody infected or anybody in your family that's been impacted in that way? Not to my knowledge. I think we're all pretty safe. I've been standing on everybody's heads about staying in the house and not going out. Yeah, well, that's, yeah, I've seen a lot of those stories of, you know, parents are usually on uh, on their, their kids, and now it seems like the kids are on their parents to try to stay home and take it easy. So you've seen a lot of those stories. I am stories. definitely Funny. that child. <laughs> Coach, what's, uh, what's, what all are you having to deal with, right, like on a day-to-day -day basis? What are you working with? Oh, man, we got a lot on our plate right now. You know, we, we just finished up our semester. So right now our main focus is is making sure our kids made their grades, um, eligibility, uh, and, and they're, they're good to come back in, in the fall. And then, um, you know, constantly, you know, since all this happened, we, we've been trying to do, you know, mental checks and check in with our kids and make sure they're doing um, – they're doing okay. You know, this is, this is a tough time for people. Um, you know, and, and then just, just making sure that uh, everybody is staying healthy and, and for the most part. And then finally, you know, we're, we're sending out voluntary workouts and stuff for, for kids to do at home. And, um, you know, so far everybody is, is doing quite well. So. And, and fall is strictly cross country. Fall is strictly cross country, you know, uh, indoor track season will, will start sometime in, in mid to end September. Um, you know, with, with their first competition starting around December. Um, but we're going to push that back probably till January this year, um, looking at our new schedule and everything. So, uh, but yeah, you know, all, all the distance kids are, are three-sport athletes, cross-country, indoor, and outdoor. And all track athletes are, are two-sport athletes, indoor and outdoor. So. And, Max, what's, uh, what's your favorite event? I know you, you do all that, right? You do, you do cross-country too? Yes, of course. So what's, what's your favorite? Mm, obviously cross country I mean <laughs> and I love the country because it's so it's so different you don't have to like have a track where you run around all the time I mean you have different courses so you have to show different abilities on your strength and everything so it I love cross country. I also appreciate going to track meet and yeah I love track as well so I can really decide on what I want so and what about for you Asia? what's your strongest uh, uh, my, my strongest event is the 200. That's pretty much my bit, my bread and butter. Okay. Um, now, do you run relays too, or just just open? I'm <laughs> um, I'm a relay runner too. Okay. And you like do you like that, or you like running open better? Oh, I I really like the relays, but the the opens are kind of just different, just because it's uh you know you kind of just depending on yourself. But yeah. I I kind of I don't mind the relays. I enjoy helping the team out. What leg do you run? Uh, depending on the relay. So we have, we didn't get to run the four by one because we didn't get to make it to outdoor, but the four by four, I usually ran anchor. Okay. Very good. So I, I just brought it home. I like it. I like it. Well, listen, y'all have a good safe summer and spring and hope to get you back on campus soon. And, um, hopefully we'll be seeing you around Conway. Sounds good. Okay. Appreciate it. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. All right.